In this video, we discuss how to set up your Blaze Retail online store. These settings may vary based on if you're using a third party, such as Dutchy, iHeartJane, or Timber. If you're having trouble with a third party integration, please reach out to both the Blaze and your site support teams to assess the issue. To access the online store section, select Global Settings at the bottom of the left nav bar. Once the screen is loaded up, select Current Shop Settings and then Online Store. As always, please look up to the top right corner of your screen to ensure you're making changes to the correct shop. Once in the Online Store menu, select the blue Edit button at the top right. The first thing you'll want to do is toggle the Enable Online Store button to Enable. This will populate all of the options that must be filled out. Next, click the blue Generate button. This will generate a code for your store. Click View, then copy the lines of code to your website editor. If you don't know how to do this, please reach out to your web publisher's support team and let them know you need to add a JavaScript snippet to a web page. If you have any additional code that you need to input to your online store, enter it in the HTML JavaScript box. This is the same if you have a custom CSS URL. The next box asks about the inventory you will be selling products from. If you have a separate inventory created specifically for your online store, or if there is a designated for sale inventory you would like to use, enable that inventory here by choosing how to validate the inventory, then select the inventory you wish to pull from. The enable online POS setting determines if you are going to allow orders to be placed online. If this setting is on, you're allowing customers to place orders on your web store. If this setting is off, you can display your inventory and menu, but customers will not be able to place any orders. If you choose to enable the online POS, make sure to turn the appropriate pickup method for your customers. Both options can be checked individually or together. If you require a minimum dollar amount to place an online order, indicate the amount in the cart minimum. The next section, Default Order ETA, allows you to input the average order time. This is not a required field if you do not wish to use it. The default view dropdown allows you to select how your shop displays to customers. The account setup, the account setup and account submission messages are notes to your customers. The setup is the title or header that displays at the top of your account creation screen, while the account submission displays immediately after the customer has created their account successfully. For the support email, enter the contact information where your customers can email to get help with the website. The enable area restrictions settings allow you to control where the online orders are placed if the setting is off, online orders can be placed from any zip code. If you turn the setting on, you will need to enter the available zip codes that you service. Enter the zip code separated with a comma. This concludes the online store training. Remember to reach out to your website administrator if you're having any issues implementing this feature on your website. Thank you and have a great day.